What if we could solve our planet's waste problem by using nature's fiery furnace, volcanoes? Imagine hurling the staggering 2 billion tons of waste the world generates each year into the molten lava of a volcano. The idea of using these natural incinerators to dispose of our ever-growing piles of trash sparks a mix of curiosity and concern. As our traditional landfills overflow and the urgency for sustainable solutions mounts, could this be a viable option? Could volcanoes be the unexpected heroes in our battle against waste? Let's delve deeper. First let's understand what a volcano really is and what happens inside it. Imagine a volcano as Earth's way of letting off steam. Deep beneath the crust the mantle is so hot that rocks melt into magma. When pressure builds up, this magma seeks escape, resulting in an eruption. Volcanoes come in different forms and sizes. There are shield volcanoes with gentle slopes formed by the eruption of low viscosity lava. Stratovolcanoes on the other hand have steeper profiles and result from more explosive eruptions of viscous lava. During an eruption, temperatures can soar to around 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat is capable of melting everything from rocks to metals. The chemical composition of this molten material is a complex mix, primarily of silicates, enriched with various dissolved gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur compounds. Understanding these basic principles helps us grasp the sheer power and complexity of volcanic activity. Now that we know how volcanoes work, can they handle the heat of our waste? Incinerating trash isn't a new idea, but how does it work? And is it similar to what might happen in a volcano? Let's dive into the world of waste incineration. This process involves burning waste at high temperatures until it breaks down into ash, water vapor, and gases. Most modern incineration facilities operate at around 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature hot enough to decompose various types of waste, including household garbage and hazardous materials. Now, compare this to a volcano. The temperature within a lava flow can range from 1,300 to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, organic materials would combust almost instantaneously, much like in an incinerator. However, the key difference lies in the uncontrolled nature of a volcano. Incineration plants are designed to capture and treat emissions before they're released, ensuring harmful pollutants are minimized. It seems incineration and volcanoes share some fiery similarities, but what about the environmental impact? Throwing trash into a volcano sounds straightforward, but what are the potential environmental consequences? When we think of volcanoes as natural incinerators for our waste, the image seems almost cinematically perfect. However, the reality is far more complex and fraught with environmental risks. Let's dive into these implications. Firstly, the immediate concern is the release of toxic gases. Typical household trash contains plastics, metals, and other synthetic materials. When incinerated, these materials don't just vanish. Instead, they break down and release harmful chemicals like dioxins, furans, and heavy metals. These substances are notorious for their ability to persist in the environment and bioaccumulate in the food chain, leading to severe health and ecological consequences. Moreover, burning trash in volcanoes can lead to the emission of microscopic particles. These particles can be carried over vast distances by wind currents. Once airborne, they can contribute to air pollution far from their original source, affecting air quality and public health over broad areas. The fine particles can penetrate deep into human lungs and even enter the bloodstream, causing respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. Environmental scientists also stress the impact on local ecosystems. The introduction of foreign chemicals can drastically alter the composition of the local environment, for example, increased acidity in soils and water bodies can make it difficult for many plants and animals to survive. These changes can lead to a decrease in biodiversity, disrupting local food webs and ecosystem services. Furthermore, the global atmospheric implications are significant. Volcanic activity naturally releases gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Adding trash to the mix can amplify these emissions contributing to global climate issues like acid rain and climate change. In conclusion, while the idea of disposing of waste in volcanoes might seem like a neat solution to our garbage problem, the environmental implications are profound. The release of toxic gases, particles, and their effects on both local and global scales are critical considerations. The environmental costs might outweigh the fiery spectacle. Let's consider the logistics. Imagine trucking loads of garbage to a volcano. Simple in theory, but what about in practice? Let's delve into the logistical challenges that arise when considering volcanoes as garbage disposals. First, 
Consider the sheer distance and infrastructure required. Most active volcanoes aren't conveniently located near urban centers where the majority of waste is generated. Transporting garbage over long distances involves a fleet of heavy-duty trucks, significant fuel consumption, and the emission of greenhouse gases. Additionally, the road infrastructure to many volcanic sites isn't designed to handle such heavy or frequent traffic. Then, there's the cost. Setting up and maintaining roads, vehicles, and facilities to handle and process waste at volcanic sites could run into billions of dollars. For local governments, this financial burden could be prohibitive, diverting funds from other critical areas, such as healthcare, education, and sustainable waste management solutions. Safety is another critical concern. Volcanoes, by nature, are unpredictable. The risks of working near an active volcano include sudden eruptions, toxic gas emissions, and the possibility of lava flows. The idea of dumping waste into a volcano raises significant safety issues for workers tasked with this dangerous job. Moreover, the act of dumping itself isn't straightforward. Waste needs to be treated and managed in a way that minimizes environmental impact. Simply tossing garbage into a volcano could lead to uncontrolled chemical reactions and the release of toxic gases, compounding the environmental damage. Logistics turn this fiery solution into a complex puzzle. But are there any real-world attempts or studies? Has anyone ever tried using volcanoes for waste management? What do the experts say? Indeed, the idea isn't as novel as one might think. Historically, there have been instances where communities living near volcanoes have tossed garbage, albeit small amounts, into these fiery pits, treating them as a natural incinerator. However, these are not well-documented scientific endeavors but rather sporadic local practices without systematic study or approval. To get a clearer picture, let's delve into what the experts have to say. Dr. Helen Richardson, a renowned volcanologist, explains, while the concept of throwing waste into a volcano might sound straightforward, the reality is fraught with complexities. The interaction between trash and molten lava can lead to unpredictable chemical reactions, potentially releasing toxic gases into the atmosphere. Moreover, a comprehensive study conducted by the International Volcano Research Center in 2021 assessed the environmental impacts of using volcanoes for large-scale waste disposal. The findings were quite revealing. The research indicated that not only would the logistical challenges be enormous but the environmental repercussions could be severe, outweighing the benefits of waste reduction. Dr. Emily Santos, an expert in waste management systems, adds, The energy and resources required to transport massive amounts of waste to volcanic sites would be immense. It's simply not sustainable or practical on a large scale, especially when considering alternatives like recycling and modern waste-to-energy plants that are much more environmentally friendly and economically viable. Interestingly, there are ongoing discussions in the scientific community about the potential for future research in this area. Some suggest that small-scale controlled experiments could help us better understand the reactions and emissions involved in volcanic waste disposal. However, as Dr. Richardson points out, such experiments would need to be approached with extreme caution, ensuring they do not disrupt local ecosystems or communities. Expert insights bring us back to reality, but let's summarize our fiery journey. We've traveled from fiery curiosity to a mountain of complexities. In this exploration, we began by understanding the very nature of volcanoes, powerful geological formations that are as destructive as they are magnificent. Delving into the science of waste incineration, we learned that burning trash isn't as straightforward as tossing it into a volcano's fiery pit. The process releases harmful emissions, including dioxins and furans, which pose significant health and environmental risks. We then unpacked the environmental implications, discovering that these emissions could lead to acid rain and water contamination, severely impacting ecosystems and biodiversity. The logistical challenges also loomed large, highlighting the sheer impracticality of transporting vast amounts of waste to often remote and dangerous volcanic locations. Experts weighed in, reinforcing that the theoretical appeal of using volcanoes for waste disposal is overshadowed by the overwhelming environmental, logistical, and ethical concerns. While using volcanoes to dispose of our trash presents an intriguing idea, it appears the cons currently outweigh the pros. For now, our waste won't be taking a volcanic plunge.